Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We've got a question from Bradley in Indiana, and he's got a one horsepower Wayne sump pump, and he wants to know if the Pump Century 822 PS will handle it. Stay tuned. Okay, Bradley in Indiana, that is a wonderful question. And before I get into that, the first thing I wanna let everybody know is why in the world would you think about using a battery backup system on your sump pump in the first place? Well, here in East Tennessee, uh, typically we get a lot of thunderstorms and when are you more likely to lose power is during a thunderstorm. When are you more likely to need power to your sump pump is during a thunderstorm. So if you get a lot of thunderstorms, a lot of power outages during heavy rains, the Pump Century 822 PS could be a great product to use. Now, uh, a couple things about this product is it's only rated for a half horsepower sump pump. So you, I believe you said you had a one horsepower sump pump. This will do up to 1200 watts and nine amps of continuous use. So you can check your sump pump and see if it pulls that much uh, energy uh, from the DC converter. So if you're under nine amps, you should be able to use the 822 PS, but if you're using a three quarter to a one horsepower, you may be better off upgrading to the 1622 PS, which is rated a little bit higher. It's good for 14 amps and 1800 watts. A couple of cool features about the pump sentry is that it actually gives you the indicator light if your battery goes bad, it'll let you know. This is designed to be hooked up to a marine battery and you can even tandem a few marine batteries if you wanna have longer pump cycles during a power outage. So we can uh, put that in a link below to our install manual so you can see that. The other thing is it also lets you know whether it's fully charged or whether it's under the trickle charge. This comes with all the cables you need. The only thing you would need to buy extra is the marine batteries. And also we recommend you get a case for the batteries. This should be installed above the pump. So typically hang it from the joist of a crawl space. If you're putting it in a basement, you could put it on the wall of the basement. So pretty easy to install. It does take a little bit of time running all these wires and making sure everything is hooked up correctly, but certainly something a DIYer could do. Uh, and it, the best of it all is that it works with any sump pump currently installed. So if you've got a sump pump installed and you're wanting to put in a battery backup pump, a lot of times you've got to take that old pump out and then put in a dual pump. And the, the smaller pump would be the battery backup. And it's normally a cheaper plastic pump where the main pump is more a high horsepower pump. Well, again, whenever you lose power and you're taking on a lot of water, I'd rather have the, the stronger pump working, which is the beauty of this product is it's just one pump. It switches from AC to DC and then back to AC whenever the power comes on. So great product for anyone with a basement or a crawl space that has a sump pump. So my name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. Bradley, we appreciate you writing us in. And if you guys have a question that you'd like for me to answer, please uh, check below for our Ask a Ninja page. And I hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later. Look at this. Look at this product. It's a pump century. <laughs>